The single most common repair issue that you'll have as a band director is that of stuck brass mouthpieces. These become stuck in many different ways. Students who use too much pressure when they play can cause the mouthpiece to push too far into the receiver. Um, beginning brass players in particular love the popping sound that comes as you hit the end of the mouthpiece, causing that mouthpiece to become stuck. Um, as instruments fall, um, if they fall mouthpiece down, these can also become pushed way up into the receiver, causing the mouthpiece to become stuck. Now there's a tendency of wanting to use pliers to remove these. Do not do that. That can cause uh, damage to the entire lead pipe, causing the lead pipe to need to be replaced. Instead, every repair kit should have some sort of a mouthpiece puller in it. Now these come in many different forms. Uh, this one that I have here is uh, the DEG, the DEG um, Magnum mouthpiece puller, but they all work on basically the same principle. They're going to have two sets of claws, one which mounts right at the base of the receiver, another which sits right underneath the cup of the mouthpiece. When you put this on, we want to make sure that the lower claw is positioned right above the receiver, so that as you twist, um, you're putting direct pressure on the receiver cup or the receiver top base. The other one is going to fit right underneath the cup of the mouthpiece, and these work uh, for all size mouthpieces. Um, what I like about this model is that it has a single screw, um, so it applies even pressure. Other models will have two screws, in which case you're going to do a turn on one side, a turn on the other, a turn on one side, a turn on the other. At all points you want to make sure that there is contact being made with the receiver. And we're just going to continue to twist these screws until the mouthpiece comes out. Um, that the direct pressure that's being applied is gentle and subtle, and you can see that it's starting to pull out. Once it's loose, we can then pull the mouthpiece out and we're set to go. To avoid having mouthpieces get stuck, there's a simple uh, task that we can do, which is when we put the mouthpiece in, give it a gentle quarter turn. Um, which direction it goes doesn't matter at all, but what that does is create some torque uh, resistance so that if it is stuck with your fingers you can twist it to remove it. Again, a reminder, never ever ever use a pair of pliers to remove a stuck mouthpiece.